financial independence forces me to quit my job, and I like my job. I don't want to quit. <laughs> so many people say this. Yeah. Like, There's no point doing financial independence or getting my finances in order because I love my job. For now. <laughs> <laughs> until you get restructured, until you get fired, and until the company changes. Until your boss changes, you really yeah. enjoy working with your boss and suddenly you have a different boss who you didn't like as much. Until you want to start a new career, until you want to do something. Like it's just an excuse for not trying to sort out your finances. Yeah. There's no there's no retirement police. Like they're not going to come around and be like, all right, you have reached <laughs> FI, you better hand in your resignation tomorrow or I'm going to write it for you. Please like, give your job back. Exactly. Just yeah. keep it like it just keep it you just now have the power to choose in case it becomes a job you don't like yeah and, and i know people that are in my uh, in my old job that you know they really like their job but they reached financial independence and it actually made them better at their job because they're able to take more risks at work they were able to stand up to their boss more and um without fear of getting fired and as a result they actually rose up the ranks and became and, and got promoted and became like uh, you know senior management because of that so financial independence just because you like your job does not mean does not give you an excuse to not attempt to go after financial independence if you like your job you can become even better at it if you're financially which the mis misnomer is the FIRE acronym, Financial Independence Retire Early. You don't have to retire early if you don't want to. The whole point of financial independence is to buy the freedom to do whatever you want to do.